Hello, everybody. Okay, so <clears throat> this is officially the first episode of my playthrough. Let's play Get Ourselves Killed by Anything and Everything Arc Survival Evolved Shenanigan Show of Epic Proportions. Something like that. Bunch of random poppycock. But, anyways, <clears throat> so. Um, if you uh, are new to the channel, like myself, <laughs> um, I'm Lulu. Uh, I am a small time streamer, very small, very small slash new YouTuber. Uh, this is going to be hopefully my first playthrough that I actually complete of something. Um, I've tried a couple of playthroughs of other games. Uh, that fell through uh, just because of time and stuff like that. Um, I am a quote-unquote house husband slash stay-home dad uh, for the most part, uh, which is a full-time job. I have a almost three-year-old daughter. Um, we have a brand new house that we just bought six months ago, so there's a lot of construction going on. All different types of stuff. Remodeling. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, I've managed to work out some scheduling so i can start youtubing again at the, at the very least if i don't get into my streaming um <clears throat> this is going to be a full solo playthrough um as stated before we are using um very similar uh single player setup as flinger foo um if you're familiar with him uh, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not familiar with him, he is a very large um, solo playthrough, arc survival evolved, Conan Exile, all kinds of other survival games. Uh, arc is his biggest one as far as my knowledge goes. Um, <clears throat> so the stats that we're going to be playing with are highly based off of his setup that he uses, which in my opinion is very, very good for solo play. Uh, when I say solo, we're going to be doing single player, which means there will be nobody to help us with anything. Some stats are boosted uh, pretty high. Taming is times three, harvesting times three. Um, you know, breeding is also increased because uh, we don't have the time to uh, play around with that like on official servers. Um, but without getting into anything too crazy, let's just get started. Start making our character. I'm um, going to try to keep these between 30 and 40 minutes long. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like 40 to 50 minute episodes. I apologize if they get that long. Um, my editing software isn't the greatest, so I try to do what I can. Um, <clears throat> it's not that it's uh, it's incapable of doing it. It's just I'm very limited. Oh, hold up. Uh, create a new survival. That's weird. Survival. Survivalist. Presets. Do arc solo. Load. You know what? No. We're going to go with a female. Because I feel like going with a female. Okay. We're going to do that. Skin tone. Little tan. Blonde hair. Blue eyes. Oh. That's weird. Oh, so the preset to everything was set. It was just on male and not female. Okay, cool. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, yes, I play with a female character. Um, no, I don't do it because I like looking at boobs and butts. Just to get that out. I do it because uh, I'm somewhat of a person who loves glamour, fashion, and looking nice. And female characters just do that better than male characters in most games. Especially art. They just look like giant rocks. <laughs> I just don't like them. Uh, so that's why I play the female character. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're going to start in North Zone 1 hard. Um, mainly because I have a lot of experience with the island. About four years of experience on the island. I'm comfortable with the dangers of this area. Um, my other option would be starting over here. But I don't want to be that close to the snow. I do and I don't. That's actually, honestly, if I'm being honest, this is actually a good spot right here. Because you've got, um, you've got the mosh pit, as it's publicly been called over the years. 
you have a mosh pit up here, which is really good for farming herbivores and carnivores and stuff like that. Um, I was debating about starting down here and maybe doing Herbivore Island for our starting point. I really like Herbivore Island, but at the same time, I don't want to mess with Herbivore Island right now. Right now. Later on, we'll, we'll, we'll pick a place. But I think... Hmm. You know, I could do North Zone 2 because that would put me close to the snow here. It put me on this side of Carno. There are less, da less, um, not less dangers. There's also a pond here, and we're close to the hidden lake as well. Yeah, let's do North Zone too. Let's do that. Uh, we're gonna create new survival, survival, survivalist, survivor, survival, survival. Anyways, uh, warning to survival. Server was yes, that's fine. I I made a test character already. I haven't built anything, tamed anything, or done anything on the server. It's fresh. It was like. 20 minutes before I started this episode. All right. So, um, a little bit of loading lag there. Took a second for the render in. Cool, cool. Sweet. Um, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Perfect. Uh, oh, we're in a, oh, we're in a great spot. Oh, uh, okay. So we're right where I wanted to be. So that is one of the mountains where the Giga spawns is right over there. Um, I like to play in third person, by the way. It just I'll, I'll play in first person from time to time, but most of the time I play in third person. Um, so we're going to start picking up rocks while we move around so we can get ourselves started here. Let's see what we've got around us. Good sign is uh, it's pretty wide open, and there's nothing of too much danger around here. So the, this is actually one of my favorite spots to start is in North Zone Too Hard. We got a tech parry over there, and I thought I saw something running. No, it was just a T-Don. Got an over raptor, some turtles down there. Oh, I hear I hear our colorful Ichthy friends. Okay. I haven't heard any dodos, so that's we're off to a little bit of a bad start on dodos. Alright. Good on berries. Put on thatch. I'm going to look over here. There's a little bit of a pond over here, right up against the side of that wall. This is, uh, I like this spot because it gives you access to water right underneath your house, right underneath your base. Oh, we got a little bit of a water glitch right here. Okay. Yeah, so you've got access to water here. Now, the only problem is sometimes there's a sarco in here, but I don't see one. That's good. Um, we got that hill up behind us. So that is that is that, but this gives us a lot of open field in front of us to work with, which is really, really good. Um, we're far enough away from gigas for the most part, unless one from over there wanders down here. Now, the good news is we're playing on solo servers, so the chances of us having a giga wander down here is very, 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 very slim. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, I'm thinking, yeah, this will do. The other option is starting right there, but that's going to put me really close to the cold. Uh, and I don't want to do that. That's also a good spot to start is right there. Oop, wrong button. All right. Um, I'm trying to decide between here or down by the beach. Eh, screw it. Let's start here. Yeah, let's do it. Now, we could do the hidden lake. Hmm. Hmm. Hidden lake is right over there. Let's go check it out. Why not, right? We got a little bit of time. So I'm going to cut while I run over there. I don't think there's going to be anything too exciting, but just to conserve uh, time, uh, I'm going to cut and bring us back and see what we see. Be right back. And we're back. Okay, so it took me about a good 15, 20 seconds to get up here. So not really worth cutting over. Um, so this is the Hidden Lake. Um, 
it's a really good spot to build but the, again you got to watch out for stuff falling down like that parasaur over there uh there are sarcos um, there are beavers here, which means we can easily farm, you know, a little bit of pelt. We can farm some menking paste. Uh, we've got lots of herbivores to start us off with. Uh, the Sarka was just killed, which is good. The beavers killed it. Uh, looks like we have a Carno. And I think that was um, the parry that fell down. Hmm... What is that right there? Is that an iguanodon or? Looks like there's some monkeys down there. Nope, those are actually either truodons or arthros. Arco, 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 platico, the other birds that look similar to them. All right, all right let's. Oh, hello, compies. There's the car now. I hear a Larry. All right, let me. Oh, crap. I accidentally hit tab. Oh, crap. Out of my way. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're so dead. I got stuck on a compy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Close call. All right. Yeah. Let's just go back over here. We'll deal with that. We'll, we'll, we'll debate about moving over there maybe later. We'll see. I like the hidden lake. It's a nice spot. All right. Um. Let's just start down by the beach for now. Yeah, let's do that. I guess it's a good spot. I know, I'm taking a while to decide here, guys. I apologize. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's start here. Right here. We're good. Calling it. Let's start here. Okay, so this is where we're going to set up our camp. So first things first, um, uh, let's open up our window here. Um, let me put that on real quick. We're going to call our little chibi here Coco. My phone just went off. Sorry about that, guys. Forgot to mute my phone. Um, we're going to call our little chibi Coco. This is the uh, Genesis Part 2 uh, chibi. Uh, my daughter colorfully named it Coco one time. She saw it and said, Coco. And I said, all right, Coco it is. So that, that that's what it's called. It's called Coco. All right, we're going to put two points into... I can hear the car now. He's right over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll keep the skins for now. There's a lot of skins here. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot this isn't that game. So used to uh, one of the other games I've been playing where I could... Oops, what did I just throw? Oh, those. Okay. Hello, Overraptor. Whack. Get out of here if you want to live. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's learn some stuff here real fast. Uh, we're going to um, learn pants and shirt, spear, hatchet, and there we go. That's good enough for now. All right, so let's go punch some trees. I need to get a little bit of wood. Yep. One second. Y you gotta love how when you punch, there's literally zero movement from the waist down. I know that's that's like something every arc person knows, but I I just find it funny. Oh god, I feel like an idiot. You can tell I haven't played in a while. <laughs> you can tell. 
Oh, man. All right, let's make our shirt, our pants. Let's put another point into there. Um, let's do a uh, sleeping bag and box. Okay. Gonna go to weapons, primitive, melee. Let's get a pick. Okay, I think that's it for now. All right. Um, oh, crap. I lost my stuff. Let's put that on. Put that on. Um, that's for the axe. Let's put the pick here. Okay. Let's go beat on a stone. Get ourselves some flint real quick so we can make a uh, hatchet and some spears. A little bit of metal is always good. All right. I did it again, hitting tab. Tab, I might actually switch that over. Tab is actually my uh, inventory uh, button for a couple of games that I have set up hotkeyed to. All right, um, let's go with, we only have eight points. We don't have enough to build a full house yet, so we're just going to hold off for now instead of just spending them at the moment. Uh, let's do crafting, um, cooking, campfire. Let's make that. And then we're going to go to weapons again, tools. We're going to make ourselves a hatchet. And then we're gonna make, I can only make one. What am I out of? We're out of wood, okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's skin that with our trusty dusty little Arc 2 hatchet skin. So we've got our nice Arc 2 hatchet skin. Get some wood. Perfect. Getting a little heavy, let's get a little bit of thatch. Okay. God dang it, did it again. All right, um, right, let's make two more. So that'll give us three of those. And we'll put those there. All right, and then I want to make a couple of boxes. Let's make two, two boxes, We're, there we go. Um, all right, let's put one more into carry weight. And then let's do foundation, door, wall, door, ceiling. Good enough for me. Cool. All right. Let's grab some fiber. Let's get ourselves at least a basic shack up and running. And then we're going to go out and go farm a little bit of hide so we can get ourselves some places to put down either a bed or a sleeping bag before anything un totally happens to us all right let's mosey our way over here real quick uh crafting batch um i can only make five oh probably need more wood oh must have been punching that tree at some point burr, 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 burr. We're definitely going to be weighed down a lot here. Okay. Um, that'll give us six of those. Um, let's put... No, let's just keep going on carry weight. Let's just keep going on carry weight. Okay. So that gives us six foundations. All right. Six foundations. Um, crafting. One of those. One of those. And we need more thatch, and I can't move. Pooper scooper. Oh, uh, you know what? I can probably do this. Let's um, let's mow down on some berries real quick. Uh, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Keep those. Get rid of those. How's my carry weight? Still high. That's only 16 pounds. That's not going to drop me low enough. It's all this wood. All right. That's what happens when you gather too much. Okay. 
we'll come back for it because i'll be able to come back for it all right let's place down our foundations get this started all right um, okay Uh, let me go grab that wood. Actually, let me go grab some thatch. Okay, let's see. Where's that stack of wood at? There's one. All right. I'm actually going to make this um, a 3x3. Three three. Should I? 2x3. Uh, yeah, it's just the starter one. It's the starter one. We might make it bigger later, but for now. For now. For now. Just the starter one. Okay, oh, my God. I gotta get tired of doing that. All right, um, eleven of those. Oh, oops, wrong button. Okay, snap that into place, and then we're gonna make some of these. Now we just gotta wait on these walls to finish up. We'll at least have ourselves enclosed a little bit. Awesome. Okay. Now I don't like to go one high, I prefer to go too high, so we're gonna go too high. All right, I'm going to need more thatch. Or was it wood? Probably both. I'm going to need more thatch at the moment. Okay. All right. Um, let me do uh, six of these real quick. So we can get our roof done. Five of those. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna need a little bit more thatch and wood. We're gonna get this set up and we're gonna try to go out and get something tamed real quick too. We go, a little bit more thatch. Oh, we've got an ICSI. Vultures, or as I like to call them, rats with wings. <laughs> rats with wings. Yeah, this is where playing in first person is better because uh, it's just easier. Oh, I made some few extras. Let's cancel those. All right, four of these. Awesome. So we got ourselves a nice little starting home. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab these boxes here and put down a couple of these boxes. Put them sideways, we get a little bit more wiggle room. I'm not going to be like perfect with these. We're just going to place them. Obviously, I could like merge them into each other because we have no clipping turned on, but we're not going to do that. We're just ha we have it on to help us deal with, uh, you know, little shenanigans stuff. OK, so. That goes there. Let's. I think I'm good at the moment. I don't think I have to get rid of. Let's actually do. Drop costumes. Drop. Perfect. Okay, let's go put down our campfire. Right. 
Perfect. Shut our front door so no undesirables go in there. Cool, cool. Let's access this. Let's throw some wood in there and get that started. At least get it, you know, good to go. Um, let's put our metal in there so we don't lose that. Let's put the seed in there because we can use some of these seeds later. And we'll keep the berries. Keep that. Keep that. Cool beans. Shut our door. Pull out our trusty, dusty little spear. All right. So let's go get some hide so we can get a bed and some other things up and running. Let's see what level this parasaur is. What level are you? You are level 12. No cigar. All right. See if we can go find some dodos while we're running around. Because you got to be a little careful. There's a pterodon. Pterodactyl? Pterodactyl? No, it's it's Zion. It's pterodactyl. All right. Anybody see any dodos? You got to let me know if you see a dodo, okay? Not that dodo. That's the wrong type of dodo. <laughs> That's a dodo with claws. <laughs> Gotta stay away from that dodo. Are you a dodo? Nope. You know what? Oh, you know what? I know what's around here. Let's go up here. There, there's a there's a present up top of this hill for us. That's, that's why this hill slopes upwards, so you can go get your gifts. It's like a road leading to the wonderful prize at the end of the, you know, road, street, hill. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just go get it. These things are amazing. There it is. Loot crates, not loot crates, but documentaries and all kinds of other fun stuff. They give bonus XP for opening them. Da -da -da -da. Oh, yeah. We got four levels from that box. Okay, so we got 200 carry weight. So we're gonna stop at 200 for now because I think 200 is a good stopping point. Um, I'm actually gonna put the next two points into stamina. We've got a lot of points now because of that. We're level 13. This is why I did not increase the uh, the XP for farming. Um, we're gonna need a mortar and pestle. We're going to need a bed. We're going to need spark powder. We're going to need this. We're going to need that. We're going to need a club, possibly. We're definitely going to want to get parry saddle. We're going to need bow, bow and arrow, bola. Um, cementing paste. And I think we're going to call it. Good enough. Good starting. Perfect. We're level 13 already, guys. And that's with not having the EXP on the server boosted. That's default vanilla XP. It is not hard to level, folks. Okay. Oh, we got ourselves a spitter. Woo! Yep. Yeah. All right. Our first kill. Got ourselves some hide and some meat. Got an Obi Raptor down there, but we're not going to try to kill that. That's just a waste of our stamina. -ner. Okay. Oh, we got another spitter over here. I'm not going to tame you guys. We're just going to kill them. Just stay out of its reach and just keep jabbing. Awesome. Um, I say a few more kills and we should have enough meat and hide to get us going for a while. Let's find a couple of more dodos here. Oh, there's a trike. Might be a good berry farmer. We can figure out what level it is. The tech parry over there as well. Okay. Let's go see what level this trike is. It's in a good spot to tame. You are level 44 male. Ooh, I like the colors on that too. 
that orange, that burnt orange and red. That is nice. Oh, we got another. Ooh, we got two more trikes. Hello. We got a 48. And a 28. So we got a 44 and a 48. What is this one? Because that was a male, wasn't it? They're both males. I think they're all males. Okay, so we've got a 44 male and a 48 male trike. So we'll probably try to take the 48 male. Um, we're a little early on the trikes. We might try to start with something small. I was kind of hoping there were some dodos around here, but I'm not seeing any. I wanted to try to tame up a couple of dodos. Get us started. Yeah, that's why we don't try to kill those. They just run away. Um, Let's... Put some more stamina in. Let's see here. Let's hold off on making uh, any more point stat stuff. Um, let me, let's do, let's go here real quick. Let's go to split all. We're going to do um, split all. We're going to start turning this into spoiled meat. Um, we have an 18 minute spoil timer. Woo! That's going to be a while. That's probably not going to happen on this episode. <laughs> let's just get it started, though. Um, let me do... Let's get a club real quick. Actually, can I make a bed? No, nah, I need more wood. That's fine. We can do that. Uh, which means I'm going to need wood for the club, too. Okay, let's go get some wood. I want to try to tame at least one, maybe two things. All right, that's enough wood. Oh, you're not screwed. Let's cut down the whole tree. All right. Um, crafting. Uh, weapons. Uh, primitive. Melee. Love. Let's get ourselves a club. Let's move that there. Um, let's go back to structures. Bed. Let's make ourselves a bed. Let's put some more points into stamina. Club, there we go. We've got a club now. All right, we got another spitter over here on our side. We need to keep a little bit of meat so we can cook ourselves some food. Be here. And there are like no dodos. Oh, we got a tech parry. What level are you? 19. Not really worth it. I want to try to keep them at least decent level. 16. Got another OV Raptor. All right, I'm going to cut here real quick while I look for some dodos. And we'll be right back. Okay, I found dodos. They're all the way over there. So I have actually traveled pretty far actually so normally like that little tiny little black circle directly in front of me that that's that's the little pond where my house is at so i've traveled all the way over here to the beach this edge of the beach so not not far but you can see how far i went uh we did kill um, a couple of copies and some spitters along the way. Ooh, we got a mulch chop too. Perfect. What do you want? What level are you? 44. Rare mushroom. You just had to ask for rare mushroom. All right. Dodo. What do we got? We have a 16 male, which means the other one's a female. What are you? You're a 20 female. York and eight. Oh, we need food and water or food or something. Oh, you know what? Um, uh, split all. Let's do one to stamina, another to help. Oh, we got a heat wave coming in. And yeah, we're going to have to cook some food soon, too. What? Well, we got an eight. I mean, are there at least any decent level dodos? Or 12? 
A 16? Wow. 44 female. Guess we'll start with you. Uh oh. TKO. TKO. All right, that one's out. I gave him 11. Let's see how much he gets. Oh, more than enough. It'll only take four. Perfect. All right, let's go over here. What do we got? An eight female. Just take it like a man or female. What is that? Another female? Okay, let's. Oop, didn't mean to eat that one, but that's okay. Oh, we got a dodo running away up here. We got a couple of dodos running away up here. What are you? You're a 16 female and a four, 44 male. Hey, there we go. Where'd that male go? Come here. Starting to become nighttime, so we're going to have to head back after this. Trying to get him in the head. Come on. Get that two points of damage. Or not. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> now our character is hungry. All right. Oh. Okay, cancel. Look at that. We got some dodos. Oh, I don't want to pick you up. Um. Uh, access inventory. Give me your berries. I'm going to eat these myself. So that's three female dodos and one male dodo. So what that does is uh, three female dodos, they'll lay eggs. Obviously, females lay eggs. Um, the male dodo will actually increase their egg laying process because having a male helps with uh, egg laying, obviously, because it takes two to tango, or in this case, two to breed. Okay, let's get these guys back. And probably going to wrap up this episode shortly after we get back. Get some food started, and we'll probably start the next episode uh, in the morning, maybe. Um, so let me cut here, get these guys back, get situated, and we'll go from there. Well. <laughs> that was surely lived. <laughs> I think all my dodos are dead now, too. So, traveling at nighttime was a bad idea. Obviously a bad idea. The true dons are killing my dodos. There are three true dons out there. Four true dons. Holy crap. Four true dons. Just murdered my dodos. All that hard work. Right, I'm going to see if I can at least get my stuff. Uh, we'll get back to base, and then we're going to call it for the episode. I, I might go out and try to grab four new ones later on. Um. Oh, there's no way I'm getting my stuff. Oh, why do you guys have to be right there?
See if I can get him far enough away as possible. Okay. That's good enough for me. I at least got him up into the tree line. I don't hear pitter-patter of little feet. Okay. That's where I led them off to. Did all of them follow me? I see my bag. My first bag. I don't see any true dons. Okay, good. We're in the clear. Because I at least want to save the meat and hide that I farmed. Um, We're going to drop all of that. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. All right, let's get back to base. Yeah, I didn't want to lose all this meat I had. Oof, we better split that. I'll keep that one to make myself some food. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. split half and split all of that one and we'll keep this one to make myself some food all right cool that way we can get some spoiled meat so we can start making narcotics narcotics all right all right i kind of think i know where i'm going i kind of think i know where i'm going i'm just running i can see the ocean on my right just a little bit All right, and then we just head up this way a little. I'm sorry for the if it's hard to see, guys. It's a little hard for myself too. Um, I think it's right over here. Yep, there she blows. All right, we made it, guys. Um, sweet oh this is about to spoil any second now so we're gonna have tons of spoiled meat to get us started we just have to go out and tame some stuff <laughs> i'm gonna have to try to go out and tame some some you know new uh dodos after that little fiasco all those true dots all right guys so that being said I think that's going to call 144 spoiled meat. Awesome. We are set. Go inside. Okay. Let's put away some of this wood. Put the spoiled meat away too for now. Good enough. Let's put down our bed. Oh, let me go into first person views. Easier to place. Perfect. Awesome. Um, let's rename bed and call it home. Great. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it. I, I think that is it. We're good enough for now. We've at least got ourselves a nice little place to, to crash and uh, rest and put stuff away. Um, maybe not die. <laughs> all right so without further ado guys thank you guys for watching if you like the episode or if you have any feedback please leave a comment don't forget to uh hit that like button thumbs up button also don't forget to subscribe help out just come watch give feedback positive negative enjoy it love it hate it i don't care <laughs> i am just here to play a game and entertain at the same time hopefully but anyways guys take care and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace out. Bye-bye.